Paul Reed, the first honor graduate, who will give the victory. All right. First of all, I want to thank each of you for coming here today to celebrate our graduation with us. I know that I would not be the person that I am today without the constant love and support from my family and close friends. And I'm sure the same can be said about each of the other graduates here today as well. So thank you for supporting us up to this point and as we move on to the next part of our lives. Class of 2012, we made it. We've worked hard and struggled at times, but after four years at Bishop England, we have finally finished. I decided to approach writing my speech the same way that we have written term papers and essays at Bishop England. So last night at about 12.30, I drank four cups of coffee and began writing. Um, <laughs> seriously though, um, one thing that came to my mind is the unique environment that we have been fortunate enough to have experienced at Bishop England. We are graduating from a school that has excelled in academics, athletics, service, and just about any other measurable statistic. I want to take a moment to sincerely thank the faculty and staff that has guided us throughout these last four years. We often brag about the great teachers and administrators here at Bishop England, and every bit of it is deserved. It is notable how much the teachers care about us and sincerely want us to succeed in life, not just in the classroom. They have always been available to us for extra help, even when we pretend like we don't need it. Dr. Hellstrom, thank you for reminding us that every day is a great day for biology. <laughs> and specifically for sparking my personal interest in biology. Mrs. Durst, thank you for showing us how amazing tea really is. Mr. Durst, also known as Papa Durst, thank you for being the best homeroom teacher ever. Homeroom to That was annoying. Okay. Mrs. Desi Rooney, congratulations on your much deserved Teacher of the Year award. And maybe you can use the extra cash to buy the banner for your classroom. Only the BC Calculus students are going to get that one. Um, Bishop England is more than a school. It's a family. When people see our stylish green pants or skirts that we love so much, they immediately have an impression of who we are. Bishop England students are expected to be a cut above the rest. Thanks to our excellent track record as a school and the high expectations that the faculty has for us as students. Our parents have worked hard to allow us to attend this school for a reason. They understand that the environment at Bishop England is one in which we can be prepared as best as we can for college and for life as a whole. We are the largest private high school in South Carolina, and ever since its founding in 1915, our school has always had a commitment to excellence and a dedication to our faith in God. The ability to openly discuss and exercise our faith is something that I personally have taken for granted. When you think about how in most schools in America, religion is ignored, or even how in other countries you can be punished or killed for practicing a certain religion, things start to get into perspective. I know of missionaries in foreign countries like Nepal that have to censor their emails back home to make sure they do not put the name of Jesus Christ or God or even the Bible into their messages back home. If these missionaries were caught, the government would at the very least exile them from the country. This is just to show how fortunate we are to have attended Bishop England and how appreciative I am to our school. My main focus for today is to share about how God has changed my life and hopefully to encourage you to never be afraid of what the world thinks of you and to always put your trust in Jesus Christ, our Savior. Most of us, including myself, grew up in a Christian home and attended church for our entire lives. I knew all the Bible stories and I knew the right answer to almost any religious question that was asked of me. It took me many years to realize that believing in God is nowhere close to the same as having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and striving to live out that faith daily. Reading my Bible and having a strong group of fellow Christians who keep me accountable and that study the Bible with me have been vital to my growth. Faith is a huge aspect of who we are at Bishop England and it is the biggest aspect of my life. If nothing else, I want to be remembered as someone who definitely was not perfect, but had tried his best to glorify God to the best of his ability. We all have been blessed so much in this life, and I believe we have been blessed for a reason. I know that we weren't made to make a ton of money or chase the American dream. We were made so that we can glorify God through our actions. 
The culture today will continually ask us what our plans are and what our next step is in life. While we're in high school, people constantly ask where we're going to college and what major will we pursue and what career after that. I'm sure many of us will go on to do many impressive things, but more importantly, I hope that we all remember that being successful is not the end-all goal of life. C.S. Lewis is one of my favorite authors and is undoubtedly one of the best Christian authors of all time. He famously said, aim at heaven and you will get earth thrown in. Aim at earth and you will get neither. This quote does not mean that we will get whatever we want if we give in to God's will, but we will certainly be happier in the end if we do. If half of what people say about college is true, it's going to be an amazing time, but it's not to say it's going to be all fun and games. Other students are going to know that we are different simply because of what high school we went to, and especially if you claim to be a Christian. Don't be afraid to stand up for what you believe in. As a class, we are going to colleges and universities all over the country, which is an incredible opportunity to spread the gospel and to show what Christianity really is. Matthew 5, 14-15 says that you are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Jesus is challenging the people surrounding him during his Sermon on the Mount to boldly share their faith with others. And I believe this challenge also applies to us as we move on to our future endeavors. It has been an amazing four years with each of you. I came into Bishop England very hesitantly because I was not Catholic and I knew only a small handful of other people going to Bishop England. But I leave BE with great, fan, great friends and memorable experiences. Matthew has already mentioned many of the accomplishments of our class, and there are many. But I just want to say honestly that I think this class was and is special. I hope and pray that you will all have a great time at college and that your faith in God will shine brightly in your new environments. Always remember who you are and by whom you are called. Good luck, class of 2012, and God bless.